Hello and welcome to a short video about the MQTT broker on Datakick. Um, I saw that some of you had interest in bringing devices on Datakick using MQTT and not LoRa. So I've created a new user, MQTT demo. Let's log in into Datakick. And if you are a first time user of Datakick, this is what you see when you sign up. So now we are going to create a new device. And instead of selecting LoRa, we are going to the API device. So that creates the plain device um, that you can use for forwarding data with our API. Um, let's call that MQTT demo device. Start with an empty configuration. If you would have um, more API devices, you could copy configuration. Um, we choose the free plan as we allow up to two devices free. We create the device and um, the first thing that you see is the configuration. So in the configuration, let's scroll down a little bit. And here you see the um, fields section. In the field section, we are now going to create our first field. So call this um, analog um, voltage. So like for zero to 10 volt um, PLT controllers, you leave it to float, unit to volts, and we've successfully created our first field. So with fields, you could, um, for instance, create now like a dashboard widget, which so shows the current value um, from that field onto the dashboard. Um, and as there's no data yet, it still shows zero. In the configuration, you can see the current value as well. So now we are going to use MQTT to forward data into DataCake. And for this, um, I've prepared um, um, a Balina fin board which is um, locally attached via Wi-Fi to my local network here. And um, on that, there is a Node-RED running because Node-RED makes it most easy to start with MQTT. So in here, we are going to select the MQTT nodes um, in the output node. And let's go back to Datacake because the first thing that we need to do is creating an API token. Um, in the members section, where you can invite like um, members, you could also create API users. And we are now going to create an API user for our MQTT uh, API token. And the only permissions that we need is the devices permissions and a permission for all devices in the current workspace that this token is allowed to record. We, can, um, we do not need to activate all the other stuff. This also keeps a separation between um, the stuff that you do on your workspaces that you um, do with your members and stuff like that. And it keeps it um, yeah, a little bit more secured. We save that. Um, we're now going to copy that token and back to um, Node-RED. And in here, in the Node-RED configuration, we first of all create um, or configure the new um, MQTT node to set up to the broker. Um, the URL, the server is mqttdatacake.co. Um, we are using secure TLS connection. Um, we enable this here. We can leave this like it is. And in the um, security, we provide username, the token, and password, the token as well. We add this, this is all we need to do. And now um, we need to um, enter the topic. So back to data cake and in the configuration of the device. So let's go back to the device in the configuration. There you can see the MQTT integration here. And when you open it up, you see that it's already active because all devices, whether it's LoRaWAN, API, whatever, they all automatically are on our um, MQTT broker and you can subscribe to these but you can also push values into these using um, a specified topic. So um, this is a small explanation here, what you can do. And we simply now copy this QDT topic and go back into Node-RED. And when we paste it here, you see that there is in brackets the field name. So what we need to do is go back into configuration and copy now the identifier. Copy this and remove the thing here in brackets and paste in the analog voltage. So we press on done, we deploy it. And um, as you can see, it's already connected. And now we are going to inject some values. And um, no, this is no time. The topic you can leave that out. This is not a timestamp. It's a simple number, which gives us two, now let's say 3.45. 
um, save it, deploy, inject, and when we are now going back into data cake, we see that it's 3.45 volts. Okay, this was a good example how you can use um, MQTT to bring data into data cake, but you can also use the same um, MQTT broker to forward data from data cake into um, your MQTT clients or MQTT um, devices, PLC controls or not read. So for this, we are now going to subscribe to a topic and back into data cake, we are going into the configuration and create a new field. And we call this like um, switch state, make it Boolean, save this. So let's go back to the dashboard and on the dashboard, we are now going to add a switch widget select the switch state, place it somewhere. And um, back into the configuration, you can see in the um, the measurement in the configuration of the MQTT um, section, you see that you can subscribe to radius. So we now are going to copy this as well. Back into Node Red, select our broker here, and the topic is um, what we just copied, but we want to subscribe to the switch state, so we copy that as well. Um, paste it, deploy that, ah, wait, we are going to debug it. Um, so deploy once more, here's the debug node. And if I'm now going back into data cake on my dashboard and I'm switching on the state and back to node red, I can see that the data has been forwarded to node red. So this is how you can use MQTT um, in node red. This doesn't have to be no red. It could be everything that you have like that has access to MQTT, like PLC controls, whatever. But at least a smaller thing, since we're now um, talking about analog voltages, PLC controllers, um, whatever, you might want to hook up some analog values, analog sensors, industrial sensors, like zero to 10 volts, and you want to convert them to their actual value range. Of course, you can do this in node red directly using the um, range node, but there's also a way to do this in um, data cake directly. So you can deploy those nodes and take care of everything else on data cake. So let's go into the configuration of that device in the field section. And here you see the analog voltage, and we are now going to add a new mapping field. And in here, we're going to set the source, which is zero to 10 volts. So it's a zero to 10 volt sender. And we are going to map this from minus 50 to plus 250 degrees. We set the unit and this is a temperature sensor one. Thanks for auto correction. And we're going to press safe or oh, we set boundaries so that doesn't it doesn't exceed to more than 250 or less than minus 50. We save it and this will add this mapping field as a subfield to um, the analog voltage, which you can see here. You can also now subscribe to MQTT as well here. Um, but let's go into the dashboard and create a new widget. Um, value widget, device, temperature, save, extend this. Um, go into node red now. And we are now going to inject some um, custom values, deploy, inject, and when we are back into data cake, we can see that this has been converted to the actual value range. And we can just simply simulate this with smaller voltage, deploy once more, inject, and it's minus 32, 33. In the configuration, you could also subscribe to these fields. So you have the conversion on data cake and yeah, have it everywhere else. And if you can change it on the runtime and the analog voltage is still being recorded. So that means that you have access to the raw data as well. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.